welcome to Flooring Models. Today is Thursday the 23rd of April. Good old day today. Um, to be honest, I've been working this morning. I was doing some modeling work. This afternoon, I was editing up all the reviews and working my way through. To start with, it was a case of cracking on with the Harrier just to finish off all this body work and go right the way through. Um, you can probably see we've taken out that seam completely. Hopefully you can see we have nothing left there at all. Usual thing, it's styrene filler. I did give it two coats. Normally I can get away with one and everywhere else just have the one, but this particular one, I wanted it to be right. I say about it in the video and I've said about it before, but this back is so important to get right. So I've elected to actually just fill the hell out of it, sand it, polish it and everything else. So technically we're pretty much ready to go now. What do we need to do now is get going, a bit more white paint in there to touch that in. We get the intakes on, blend, sand, fill, everything that those need to go in. And then we can get the nose on, get the glasswork fitted, and then we can think about paint. To be honest, it's not that far off. It's just that I'm taking my time a little bit more than normal because I want to fix the little things, if you like. There's, you know, the big faults, like this big back one and this one around the front, getting it together, they're all done now. Just the little bits and pieces, I want to take care of it. I want to take my time rescribing it as well, especially over this back and going right the way through. So that one is well on its way. And then earlier on today, I got the tracks actually onto this guy as you can see he's looking very dirty still and sad for himself that's because he hasn't had his buff yet okay but the tracks are all on they're on and in looking very sandy and done this lower area i needed to get done purely because of this going on okay so i've done my standard technique with this this is oil this time so it's oil paint right over it and then drag south. I've done a full thing on it. You're going to get absolutely everything on this one to show how to do it. How long did it take? Oh, about I don't know, two minutes to do the entire thing. It's a really nice, quick, simple job. And then I've done it on the entire of the tank. So basically it's had a black uh, oil it's not even a wash it's more like a stain right the way over it let that dry a little bit and then come back and drag it and pull it south and that's what we've done on here don't panic at this point it's going to go light at the moment all it's had was the black wash right the way over it or the stain it looked extremely dark i've taken it all off to get my drag marks and all those things all over this one so as you can see it down on this side and everything else to really get us in the mood all right and then next up to be honest what we're going to be using is oils and pigments to lighten it all up because everything from now onwards is going to be a lightening technique so you've got the deep shadows in there and all the deep grind the grind in stuff and everything else that's like the heavy weathering now it's the light stuff so next up for this one it's going to be dry brush completely then we're going to come in with some oils and do some buff work with it which is something like i showed you in oils 101 right the way over it absolutely everywhere then we're going to come in as pigments for our last bit to really go round and sort of sorted out um, so next up for me is probably tomorrow i'm going to get all the glass work in there then we can do the dry brushing and everything else but i want to get that glass work in there because when we come to pigments and stuff like that it needs to be weathered as well so it can all be done at the same time it's just obviously you didn't want to get overspray on it and we didn't want to get um, technically oil paint all over it either okay but i must admit thoroughly enjoying it meng again fantastic kit no problems at all goes together like a dream once we get these armored skirts on the side it will really bring it to life and it'll be ready to go then but uh, i must admit really am enjoying that one there's still lots of little bits of details to go in there and everything else but the tracks as well the way that that track system goes on and because it's under suspension it's great because you can sort of push it all in get the tracks together click them in and then push it all out and then it all goes taut again so it really is nice there's plenty of movement on everything for going through so the actual reviews, um, obviously the book reviews, you had a flick about these yesterday. The full reviews are those up now, absolutely fantastic. I must admit, I spent a couple of hours going through them last night. They do look stunning. Uh, I must admit, the Tornado one especially, I wish I'd had it for when I did my Tornado build because I've spotted a couple of faults now, which would could have been quite easily rectified if you had good references, okay? So again, absolutely fantastic. I'm hoping Fox 2 are not gonna stop there and they're gonna continue throughout everything uh, and sort of pushing the way through with all the developments of different books and genres and everything else so well done to them and then next up was the review so we got two reviews up for you today we've actually got the uh, hawker hurricane mark one which is a stunning kit absolutely love it loads of detail in this one and then the spitfire mark one as well again loads of different options you can see airfix are obviously going to be releasing other kits on this type of thing uh, purely because the way you can see there's a sea hurricane just bursting to get out here i spotted it on the tail straight away but obviously on this mark one you've got various different uh the, in just in front of the actual cockpit area that cowling system there 
there's three of them in the kit okay so you've got different versions all over it but really for these kits i think they have full retail is something like 16.99 so you're going to be picking them up probably off of ebay and the cheaper places for around about 15. my point to it is and i mentioned it in the review is when did 148s get so complicated because the detail that are inside these the way you have to do all the framework and absolutely everything internally in doing it it's like it was a 132nd or a very expensive kit. Nowadays, it, I remember when, you know, technically, if you did a 148 Spitfire, it was a cockpit, an instrument panel, two sides, clunk it together, and that was it. Not anymore, not with these kits. These have got four internals. You've got the option to have the gun bays open or closed, and it has got four working guns and all the bits and pieces down in there with all the mechanisms, strengthening areas, all the framework, the rib work, the spars for the wings. Everything is in these kits. So all of a sudden we've gone from, oh, it's a 148 kit, two wing halves, two sides to go together and you're into paint, into something that actually is gonna take a lot more work. But it's still 15, 16 quid. Even if you paid full retail, I think these the full recommended retail on is 16.99. They are absolutely fantastic. Bargain of the month. Uh, and both of them are absolutely fantastic. So again, good old kudos to uh, Airfix for doing those. The book prices as well, they're around about the 25 quid mark. Um, don't quote me on that because I haven't got my bit of paper here today. It's up in the office. Um, but when we bought these, but I, I think they're around about the sort of 25 pound-ish mark for these books so um, if you want to get those are available at Hannant's or you can get them direct off their own website at Fox2 uh, I'm not sure if it's fox2.com but somewhere like that if you just google it you'll be able to find those uh, and away you go so there we go that's it for today I'll catch you again tomorrow